Shalom. Our verse for today is Luke chapter 10 verse 20. Yet do not rejoice that the Spirit submit to you. Rejoice rather that your names are written in heaven. Our verse is from the passage of Jesus' commissioning of the 72 to go preach the gospel in villages and places he intended to visit in person. Having gone out as Christ's delegates and having recorded successes beyond what they could imagine, they came back with joy and reported to Jesus saying, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. Jesus went ahead to tell them how their mission made even Satan to fall like lightning from heaven. That is to say, even the prince of demons, Satan, was defeated. This was indeed a reason for great rejoicing. If I were in their shoes, I would rejoice in the downfall of the enemy of my salvation, Satan. However, Jesus reminds them that there is a much greater reason for which to rejoice. As our verse tells us, Do not rejoice that the Spirit submit to you. Rejoice rather that your names are written in heaven. Why did Jesus speak like that? We have to understand these words in the context of who is worthy of entering into heaven. What are the criteria for entering into heaven? Jesus tells us in Matthew 7.21, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. So, the condition for entering into heaven is doing the will of the Father. The distinction between doing the will of the Father and calling Jesus Lord is made clearer in verses 22 and 23 of Matthew 7. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and in your name drive out demons, and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evil doers. The emphasis here is in your name. At the name of Jesus, knees bow and tongues confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father, Philippians 2, 10 and 11. When you invoke the name of Jesus, God performs wonders. Even if you are not a Christian, you can perform miracles in the name of Jesus. In Luke 9, 49, John reported to Jesus, Master, we saw someone driving out demons in your name and we tried to stop him because he is not one of us. You see? Even those who are not with Jesus can drive out demons in the name of Jesus. Itinerant Jewish exorcists used the name of Jesus to cast out demons in Acts 19. So also were the sons of Siva, the Jewish high priest. So, the disciples were not doing something extraordinary when they used the name of Jesus to command demons. Even non-believers can use the name of Jesus and gain results or get results. Does that make the non-believer become a citizen of heaven? Not at all. The only condition for gaining heaven is doing the will of the Father. And what is the will of the Father? John 6.40 says, For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in Him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. Therefore, doing the will of God is more important than having the power to cast out demons. Doing of the will of God is more important than performing miracles and wonders. You may perform miracles and still miss heaven. If you do the will of the Father, however, you can perform wonders and also gain heaven. To perform wonders in the name of Jesus and to gain heaven are not two opposing sides. Rather, the latter is of greater value than the former. If you don't do the will of the Father, your casting of demons is a futile exercise. Do not walk in vain. Do God's will so that your work may be acceptable to God. Let us pray. Lord, may I be counted among the citizens of heaven. Amen.